Hey everyone, you're looking at a brand new 2023 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport in mercury gray metallic. And right next to it is my 2021 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport in mercury gray metallic. And I'm going to tell you why, from ownership experience, why this is one of the best values on sale today as far as crossovers go. So let's get this party started. Good. So quick backstory, I am not a salesman. I am the marketing director here. So uh, you can really trust what I have to say because my salary is not based on someone buying a car from me. Uh, I can tell you from experience that owning an Outlander Sport has been one of the most easy vehicle ownerships in my life. And I've actually owned two. This is my second one. But I'm gonna show you around the new 2023 model and explain why it's honestly, if you're looking for a value priced vehicle in today's market, especially you can't ignore the Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. Now, there are some real quick things I want to get out of the way. Yes, this is an old platform. It's a very old platform. It, it started in 2010. I mean, I think it was built in 2009 as a 2010 model. It's had a few updates along the way, like new headlights and all that fun stuff. But yeah, at the end of the day, the platform is older, so it doesn't have all the technology that you might find in, a, like, for instance, the Eclipse Cross is a much newer platform. Uh, you won't find all of that stuff in the Outlander Sport, but you'll find a lot of what you need, and you'll also find peace of mind along the way. So this one is not the exact same trim that I have. This one is an ES. I have an SE. Uh, this one's all-wheel drive. Mine is front-wheel drive. Uh, hashtag he made a mistake should have went all-wheel drive but that's a story for another video uh, this one throws the factory tires mine has nexons mine does not have nexons mine has falcon wild peaks but other than that they're pretty much the same vehicle now first thing i want to talk about is this vehicle's reliability like i said i've had two uh, the first one i bought in 2018 it was an es it was the exact same package as this one we're looking at today i had zero issues on that thing in three years, I put 62,000 miles on it. The only things I had to do was change oil, transmission fluid, brakes, and I had, uh, when I traded it in, the windshield had a big crack on it. So pretty much standard maintenance. It never left me stranded, it never broke down. I, I put 60,000 miles on it in three years. This one, 2021, I bought in November of 21. It is currently August of, I'm sorry, September of 23, it just crossed 43,000 miles. Once again, no issues other than changing oil. I'll probably have to change the brakes soon. And I did upgrade those tires, but once again, that's a story for another video. Um, so yeah, no maintenance issues. Plus, you get a five year, 60,000 mile bump to bumper warranty from the factory. Okay, so with this being an entry level trim, you're gonna have a smaller infotainment screen, uh, but you also, you know, are going to miss out on stuff like heated seats. This one only has four speakers. Uh, the SE, which is what mine is, has six. A few little odds and ends here and there. But all-wheel drive is standard. You're getting the 2.0 liter four-cylinder engine. In mine, I get up to 30 miles per gallon on the highway. This one being all-wheel drive, you're looking at 29 most likely, 28. I know it's registered on the, the Moroni, but I'm talking about from real-world experience driving my vehicle, what I actually which, what I actually get. Cruise control, Bluetooth. This one does not have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You do get standard forward collision mitigation, though. You also get lane keep assist. Naturally, you're going to have power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. And it is, I would say, a pretty comfortable car, all things considered. I mean, it's, no, is it going to ride like a Lexus? Absolutely not. But, like I said, I've taken this thing on long road trips before, no issues, and it always gets me there quickly and efficiently. Seating for three across the back. And this is one thing, the seats have changed a little bit since my 2018 model. Mostly it's just the, the appearance. Um, you can get leather now on the GT. And also, by the way, for 2024, GT is going away. It'll be the SEL. Honestly, at the end of the day, it's also the same trim. Just a rebrand there. 
falling in line with the Eclipse Cross as well as the Outlander. Let's take a look here at the tailgate. There are no Outlander Sports in America with power tailgates, but this one is equipped with that cargo cover that I like a lot. I have that in mind too. Um, and it's random, but I just like to have that. Um, I use it as a shelf a lot, probably shouldn't, but I do. You do have in this one, the winter floor mats as well as the summer floor mats. Looks like there's a uh, mat for the trunk or cargo area as well. I always like to point this out. There is one little cargo hold over here for your grocery bags. And it is illuminated over there too. I take mine to, to like the drive-in a lot. Um, I've had lots of luggage and stuff in this vehicle before. Now, if you had four like grown adults in it, it would be very uncomfortable as you're trying to get all their luggage in there. But for like a short trip or like a weekend trip, it wouldn't be a big issue whatsoever. But you wouldn't want to take like four adults and you know two weeks worth of luggage in this vehicle. Also, I always like to point out, even though we are on the base model trim, you're getting the LED tail lights there. It does have amber turn signals. There's your reverse lights too. This was one of the big upgrades from the previous generation, which once again, one generation, but pr previous before the, the pre-face left, it didn't have LED tail lights before, so it's a nice change. On this trim and above, you're getting the nice 18 inch alloys and that's what's on mine too they haven't changed those once again you are getting those next tires Ugh, don't like those at all now one thing is also different so this is the es you're gonna have the turn signal there on the fender and it doesn't have the power 40 mirrors to where mine which is covered in dirt right now does have the turn signal on the mirror and has a keyless system so i just have to push that button and my vehicle will lock and fold the mirrors but let's touch again on that warranty. I kind of went over it a little faster earlier. So factory warranties from this is a five year, 60,000 mile bumper to bumper, 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain. And then when you buy it from us, you're getting a 10 year, million mile powertrain warranty included at no extra charge. So lots of great value there. You're covered for the long haul. And you're talking about price. Well, what's the price on this one? This one is and I, I misled you earlier. It's not technically the entry level. There's an S, which we rarely get the S model. Uh, the S model is even more stripped down. But the ES is, you know, technically the second line. For this one, we have it listed at the MSRP of $27,075. However, as you saw, like this one's $1,500 off. So, you know, honestly, you're getting a, a brand new crossover with all-wheel drive under thirty thousand dollars all kinds of value built into it and i just highly recommend taking it for a test drive i've owned two so you can hopefully trust my input on this and you can tell i've had a lot of these videos where i've, I've talked about my vehicle ownership and all that fun stuff i'll luckily have that one for another year and then i might go to an eclipse cross or something just because i'm ready for that next level but that has been my experience with my outlander sport if you do have questions about the vehicle, please don't hesitate to comment below. I try to respond to the people who are not jerks. So uh, if you are curious about anything about this vehicle or any Mitsubishi, please let me know. Call us 304-422-6501. Check out all of our inventory online, mcclintonmitsubishi.com. All right. I appreciate you watching. I hope you all have a great day.